muchachos, ¿qué tal? Buenos días, aquí tienen el horario para hoy, viernes el 15 de noviembre. Our learning target for today, demonstrate mastery of both regular and irregular verb conjugations in the subjunctive with expressions of mood. You guys have a test coming up next class, so this today's agenda is to get you guys going and ready for that. <coughs> Your warm-up question for today, ¿cómo se dice? I'm glad to know you. En español. Un gusto conocerte, a pleasure to meet you, or a pleasure to know you, or me alegra conocerte, uh, I'm glad, or I'm happy to meet you, or get to know you. We're not using the subjunctive here because there is no change in subject, and therefore no need for the subjunctive. We are going to go over the homework that I gave you for today about problemas y soluciones del medio, medio ambiente environmental problems and solutions. You have a game to play that we did not get to last class because of the PD and the abbreviated schedule. We'll do that today. And then again, you have a review worksheet that I'm going to walk you through here in this video. Uh, and that worksheet is the only homework that you have due for next class. The game you'll turn in as well, but the intent is that you'll finish the game in class. Whatever you don't finish with regard to the review worksheet is homework for next class. And then don't forget this activity that's due for today, the environmental problems and solutions. Let's go ahead and look at that together. Uh, you can watch the video from last class if you guys would like to get a more detailed explanation about it. I'm just going to quickly review what it is that you were asked to do. For the first page, you have a series of environmental problems. For example, tirar basura. Tirar basura, to toss or to litter trash. The verb contaminar, to contaminate or to pollute. Estar en peligro de extinción, for animal species to be in extinction, etc., etc. The vocabulary, again, is on page 22 of the textbook. You also have a glossary of all the vocabulary that I gave you at the beginning of the quarter. Utilizing that vocab, give me expressions of emotion. Utilizing these expressions of emotion at the, at the very bottom of the first page to articulate these problems in the subjunctive mood. For example, uh, es una lástima que muchas personas tiren basura en la calle. Es terrible que los animales estén en peligro de extin extinción. Uh, es triste. Es triste que las fábricas contaminen el aire. So you need to do four of those uh, in the space provided there down below. Utilize an expression of emotion, negative emotion, in this box here, followed by que, and then whatever the operative verb is here in these problems, articulate those verbs, communicate those verbs in the subjunctive mood. Next part. Same idea, just kind of doing the opposite in that you're providing solutions. Proteger. Proteger, the verb to protect. Usar. Or utilizar, transporte público. Uh, reciclar. Limpiar. Utilizar or usar energía solar or energía limpia. And then same idea, utilizing expressions of emotion, in this case positive emotion, to indicate what the solutions are in the subjunctive mood. Es necesario que todos nosotros reciclemos. Es importante que nosotros usemos energía solar, etc., etc. And again, for... Uh, in the spaces provided here, utilizing the subjunctive. Top part, similar to the previous page, although the elements are provided for you, so you're working in with those elements to create subjunctive statements. For example, es cierto que nuestra organización estudie. E-S-T-U-D-I-E, estudie. La ecología de la zona. No creemos que el río Santa Rosa esté limpio. E-S-T-E. 
with an accent. So conjugating these verbs in the subjunctive according to the subjects that are provided. Finally, in the very bottom, here's what you guys are going to do for this. You are going to utilize this example letter, which is in, embedded in the assignment. Identify in the first half of the letter three environmental problems. And just as you did in the activity, the first page, you are going to articulate those environmental problems using the subjunctive mood. They are not presented in the letter in the subjunctive mood. They're presented in the letter in the present indicative mood. For example, la emisión, la emisión de gases uh, de su fábrica contribuye. That's a fact. Right? Gas emissions contribute to air pollution. We want to change that into the subjunctive mood. How do we do that? We begin with one of these expressions of emotion. We'll take the first one. Es una lástima. Es una lástima que la emisión de gases de su fábrica contribuya. Changing the verb, the operative verb there, in the subjunctive. And you're going to do that, go hunting for some other examples of problems and the operative verb that articulates that problem. In front of that verb, put an expression of the subjunctive, and then change that verb into the subjunctive mood. You're going to do that for three problems. And you're going to write that in the space provided here. Uh, and you can use either side of the second page in that packet. You can do this side, or you could do the opposite side. But you do not need to fill in both. And then, for the solutions, same idea. Utilize the expressions on the, uh, the back of the first page, the expressions of mood, and articulate three of the solutions. Es importante que establecemos sistemas efectivos. Uh, es importante que Encoporemos fuentes de energía limpia. Uh, es necesario que nosotros fomentemos una cultura de cuidado ambiental. Right? So, three and three. Three problems, three solutions. Doesn't necessarily need to be spruced up in a letter format, but if you'd like to begin with estimada fábrica, if you'd like to include, conclude with atentamente in your name, might be a nice look, but not necessary. I'm just looking for the three problems in the subjunctive mood and the three solutions. All right, pivot over to the game now. Got a lot to do today. Dice game, pretty straightforward. And if you look at the video from last class, I went through it as well. But very briefly, you guys are using these expressions of emotion here on the left-hand side. Playing with dice. Rolling the die once. The first time we'll give you that expression. You have all of these in your notes and also on page 30. Me alegra, me sorprende, me gusta, me molesta, uh, estoy preocupado, or me preocupa, and then finally temo. So roll the dice once based on what number you roll. That expression will go into this box here. And then roll the die a second time, and in doing so, you'll get how to conjugate the verb in the subjunctive mood, which verb to conjugate, and then they're all in the to form, so conjugating them in the subjunctive. And you don't need to do both sides. I think it's a little overboard to do both. Excuse me, you can just do one of the two sides. Completely, correctly, expression of emotion, and then subjunctive mood. How these verbs conjugate, uh, take a look at page 14, fundamentally how to formulate the subjunctive. Start with the present indicative in the O form and remove the O, and then add your subjunctive endings. Ir and ser are going to be your only two exceptions because ir and ser are irregular, and you can 
see how those conjugate at the bottom of page 14 in the textbook. Finally, the review activity. A ver. Let's get you guys going with the review activity. The review activity is a one-page review. It covers the subjunctive and the emotion, excuse me, the expressions of emotion that call for the subjunctive. So nothing you need to do for part one. For part two, une, match, the expression in Spanish with the expression in English. Alegrarse de, you can just draw an arrow if you'd like, is to be happy or glad. Es bueno que would be it's good. Es ridículo que it's ridiculous. Super easy. Many of them cognates. Match them up. And you have all the answers on page 30. Part 3. También. Une. Match. The following sentence starter with the following conclusion. Hace calor. Spanish one vocab. Saying it's hot outside. Ojalá. I hope or I wish. Que llueva. Why C for number one? Because we have two expressions of weather. Llover in the subjunctive is the verb to rain. For part four, elige is asking you to pick between the two options. And remember, fundamentally, in order to have the subjunctive, we need to have two subjects on either side of K. And then your first verb in the main clause is in the present tense, present indicative. And then it's that second verb in the, in the subordinate clause that's going to be in the subjunctive. If you don't have two subjects, then what we would do is we would leave the verb in the infinitive, which is what we're going to do for the first example. Estoy un poco preocupada porque este semestre tomo seis clases. Me gusta tomar... I like to take, no change in sub subject here, so we're going to do the infinitive of the verb tomar. Me gusta tomar, I like to take estas clases porque son interesantes, pero también so, son un poco difíciles. Mi primera clase es por la mañana, a las ocho y media. No me molesta. And then how would you conjugate these? Remember, if you have a change in subject, subjunctive. If you don't have a change in subject, leave the verb in the infinitive. And also, que is going to be a clue right before the blank. Que is, a, is an indicator that the subjunctive boot should be used. Same idea for part five. Conjugating the verb correctly, either in the subjunctive or leaving it alone in the infinitive. For example, me sorprende que el profesor de arte sepa, S-E-P-A, sepa tantos idiomas. We have two different subjects. Me sorprende, which is the verb sorprender, to be surprised, in the yo form, or referring to oneself in the yo form. And then we have el profesor, change in subject, also the catalyst que, sepa. And then part six, uh, you have to utilize these expressions here from up above to, uh, to initiate each sentence, to begin each sentence. Some of the sentences are in the subjunctive mood. Some of them are not going to be in the subjunctive mood for the aforementioned reasons of needing to have a change in subject. So, number one, for example, yo blank que no puedas venir a mi fiesta mañana. I blank that you can't come over to my party tomorrow. Well, that doesn't sound all that positive. So, we're going to look at one of those expressions that are not positive. Probably es terrible, es triste. Siento. Maybe molestar. Potentially. Since we have a verb in the yo form, it's actually not going to be one of these impersonal expressions. It's got to be a verb that we can conjugate. You can't conjugate an impersonal expression. So it probably wants to be one of these two. Molestar or sentir. Probably sentir. Right? 
sentir being the verb to be sorry. Yo siento que no puedas venir uh, a mi fiesta mañana. So, pulling from this vocab, navigate activity six. Finally, activity seven, just like the warm up, translate either into the subjunctive mood because you have two subjects or leave in the infinitive because you do not.